We're Jan and Marvin, and brown signs are our favorite. What do brown signs mean? Yes, recreation. But for us, we prefer recreation. Every day a new opportunity to learn, grow, and appreciate. Anyone who travels to Alaska should make an effort to go visit Katmai National Park, in particular the bears at Brooks Falls. It's not an easy place to get to, but it's well worth the effort, particularly when you have an opportunity to see more bears, than, brown bears, than any place else in the world. We were there at the end of June 2019, and we were there during the spawning season, so the salmon were heading upstream and the bears were there to meet them. Uh, come along and we'll show you how we got there and what we saw and perhaps reasons you might want to put this on your list. Thanks for watching. And at the end of the video, make sure you catch the travel warning that we have. It's nothing serious, just something you should be aware of if you're visiting Katmai, and in particular, Brooks Falls. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video, and like it if you liked the video. See you then. It's a short flight from Anchorage to King Salmon, Alaska, a little town virtually in the middle of nowhere, but it is the closest development to Brooks with a genuine airport. From King Salmon, we transferred to an oversized float plane for the final leg, a 45-minute flight to the camp. You can actually fly into the area from other points in Alaska, like Homer or Soldotna, but it was more convenient for us to leave from Anchorage. is the fourth largest park in the National Park System. It was declared a park by Ronald Reagan in December 1980. With over 4.3 million acres, it harbors one of the largest grizzly bear populations in the world, with Brooks Camp one of the most popular destinations. The park is home to over 2,200 brown bears, and during salmon spawning season, about 50 of them gather at the Brooks Falls area to take advantage of their favorite health food, sockeye salmon, who by this time are pretty tired, but still motivated enough to jump up the eight-foot waterfall, hoping to spawn upstream. The camp has comfortable but rustic cabins, a full-service restaurant, a visitor center, and of course, a gift shop. The summer of 2019 was one of the warmest and driest summers in history, so the days were pretty warm and the nights were a little stuffy. Not the norm for this part of Alaska. The National Park Service does a great job providing safe observation points, including a new elevated walkway, making it easy to watch dozens of bear families in their daily activities. The rangers are very serious about human-bear interaction.
classic photos make salmon fishing look easy, but sometimes it just isn't your day. And sometimes you're a bear that just wasn't paying attention earlier in life. Not all of the bears arrive at the falls with families. Some of the bigger, older bears have been coming to the falls for years. This is kind of a bad clip of what's going on here. This is actually a bear marking his territory. We were riding in a bus and I was shooting the video through the front window. But uh, it's kind of a rare opportunity so I wanted to include it in the, the video. We saw a lot of bear cubs, yearlings and brand new spring babies. We saw larger older males too, but the mothers are very protective and steer clear of the males. The thought is that the presence of humans actually make the moms feel safer. That's why they hang out in the camp area.
and then there are bears there just to have a good time. Give me a 15 second introduction to where we are. Go. Oh, we're at the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, which was created by the eruption of Nova Rupta in June 6, 1912. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. There's more to Katmai than the bears. We took a hike on a record breaking hot day to the Valley of 10,000 Smokes. In 1912, there was a freaky volcanic eruption that buried the valley in 400 feet of ash, destroying several backcountry villages, but surprisingly killing no one. The resulting landscape is eerily out of place among the green forests and snow-covered mountains. As always, we couldn't stay forever, so we boarded the float plane to start back to Anchorage by way of King Salmon. You'll remember we said there was a variety of wildlife at Katmai. We did see a porcupine, bald eagles, um, a lone wolf, but the wildlife that made the biggest impact on us was a little flying devil called a white sox. You should look these up. They are infamous, but worse than any mosquito or tigger you have ever had. It took us a week and every form of Benadryl to get over those bites. And we are bug shirt believers from here on out. Brooks Falls is a great destination. As I've said earlier, if you're in Alaska and have the opportunity, by all means, make the trip over to see the bears and the beautiful country. Thanks again for watching. As I mentioned earlier, subscribe if you haven't already and please like the video and we'll see you next time. Bye!